Hello everyone and welcome back to part 46 of Build HMS Victory. So if you joined me last video, I've pretty much constructed all the yard. So it's now time to start adding all the uh, decorative parts, like uh, the booms. I need to add uh, the rigging blocks, and I also need to add the stirrups. Okay, so let's make a start. Okay, so just one of the first things I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put the yard back onto the plans. I'm going to mark for the positions for the cleats and for the stirrups. Okay, so I'm just going to bring a little cleat over. I'm going to put it onto the, the position, obviously, where it needs to go. Because we've handed this iron, this iron band, we just need to slightly just cut a little groove into this cleat, so it all sit flush onto the button. Okay, some of the cleats are drying on the yard. I may as well see. Cut these uh, these booms to length. So I'm just putting them onto the onto the plan. And just marking the position. Okay, so it just needs slightly juicing from three mil down to two. It doesn't need to put on the on the lay for this so in this case it's just taking some sandpaper and then just keep rotating it with your right hand. So I'm just gonna sand the tip with the left hand. Bring over the boom irons. That feels nice. Okay, so now the cleats are drying, I want to drill a little one mil hole in the yard arms, ready for the uh, stirrups. So I'm just taking a, a one mil drill. Okay, so if you're organized and you put all your drill bits back in the, in the correct position, obviously then you know you are. I'm a little bit lazy sometimes, I'll chuck them in the bag. So sometimes if you just want to know exactly what the, min, uh, the width of your, your drill is, just put them onto your calipers, obviously, and then you'll get the, the correct fitness. Also another tip for you, obviously if you're drilling Obviously, using a one mil, one mil bit. Obviously, it's very brittle. Like that. So what I tend to do is obviously, if I'm drilling only a shallow hole, I pretty much push it all the way up to the, up to the stock. So obviously, let's just this chance for it to break. Help support the yard arm wire drill. Okay, so I've just already started off by adding two stirrups. I make these out of metal. Obviously, just turning some, obviously, just little. Uh, it's a little wire, obviously just adding three strands together and just turning it to make obviously obviously which is like a looks like the stirrups but obviously metal which is a bit easier to manipulate. Obviously I'm not going too much into detail, I'll make a standalone video for these stirrups, which because it's it's quite a bit obviously to go into. So anyway, when I drilled the hole, I was gonna put the, the smaller end in. In fact 
run a little bit of super glue as long as it's smaller. I'm just going to push that through the hole. Okay, I'm just going to trim that back edge off. In this case, let's turn this wire as tight as possible. done. I just think it looks 100 times better than obviously the ones if you try and make them out of I don't see the, the rope. Okay so after adding the stirrups it's now time just to get the, the yard just the first coat of black paint. It's just a matte black and obviously just dilute it with a little bit of water. Okay, so obviously I'm just going to start tying up some single blocks. Let's take a little bit of super glue, just securing the thread about seven millimeters from the block. So I've fitted one already, so obviously I'm just going to add the second one. Obviously, I'll take you to my drawing I've already had some pencil marks where the positions of the blocks need to be. So I'm just adding a little bit of super glue. I'm just taking that block I just made in the vise. I'm just going to sit it on that super glue first. Okay, so let's move the yard round. I'm just going to tie a basic knot. Just give it a bit of super glue. Let's turn the yard round again. And just add a second knot. Ok, 
Okay, so I'll just turn the yard around and I've just secured it with a second knot. And then just trim the excess off with your craft knife. Okay, so that's the first two blocks added. And obviously you can see obviously the way I do it makes them hang quite nice. Okay, so just about six or seven more added in total. Okay, so I've added all the rest of the blocks. And I've also added a door block. I made a mistake there, obviously I wanted to uh, film that procedure. I thought there was two, but obviously I forgot this is the top yard, so there's only one, so I'll film that now on the, uh, on the next video I do. And I've just added uh, a boom, so I'll see. I'll just add the second one now. Okay, so I'm just going to add the second boom. You saw me fit these uh, quarter irons in the uh, in the previous video, but obviously I realised I fitted them too early, so I see I had to remove them and obviously I've added them again. So I'm just going to slide the boom up into position I'm happy with. It's got the iron, so obviously I had a little bit of super glue. Okay, so I just swapped angles, it's easy for me from this side being left handed. And slide it along so it looks like it's in the correct position. Okay, now I just need to paint the tip of the, the boom. Okay, let's let that dry and we'll uh, give it a second coat. Okay, so, so after just finishing off that tip of the boom, that's the complete four top sail yard. All done. Ready to be uh, put in storage. It's all ready to fit on. Okay, so that pretty much wraps this video up for today. I'll see, so that's just the, uh, the completed yard. Now obviously that's ready just to be put in storage until obviously we start to fit it to the uh, to the mast. So so far I've built two uh, two yards on the camera. I built obviously the main yard for the main yeah for the main mast, and I've also built the uh, the top yard for the four four mast. So the only things left really is just to build a, a top gallant yard. So I think I'll do that next video, and obviously then that's pretty much all the all the yards built. And obviously that is I mean, there's no point just filming everyone because they're all the same so anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time